up everybody this is your girl miss p i hope that you are doing fabulous darling i am doing amazing and i am here to do another untitled foolery for you guys i love doing these fooleries i try to do a monthly you know like in mid-month or maybe the end of the month but it just hit me let me do an untitled foolery make sure to go ahead and like this video subscribe if you haven't already and you know i put together untitled foolery and ask miss p so if you have any questions make sure to comment down below i'm using questions from the last untitled foolery so don't put no more on that one make sure to put them down below and include your social media information okay i just might find follow you. I want to tell you guys something so exciting, okay? National Pretzel Day is Sunday, April 26th. And why am I so excited about it? Because I love me a pretzel. It's not so good for my hips and my thighs, but it is wonderful for my stomach. I love me a pretzel. Every time I go in the mall, I think I go and get me some pretzel bites or something. I love them. Now, here is the kicker. If you would like a free pretzel, I'm going to need y'all to head over to your local pretzel maker spot and say the tongue twister. I'm not good with tongue twisters, but I'm going I'm to I'm tell y'all what the tongue twister is. Pretzel maker prepares perfectly pleasing pretzels for National Pretzel Day. <laughs> I said it without flubbing, but let me say it a little bit faster. Pretzel maker prepares perfectly... <laughs> pretzel maker prepares perfectly... Mm -mm. Pretzel maker prepares perfectly pleasing pretzels for National Pretzel Day. Pretzel maker prepares perfectly pleasing pretzels for National Pretzel Day. I done spit it up my whole phone, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's down below. Make sure you say it so that you can get a free pretzel. Who don't want a free pretzel? I was in Raleigh last weekend, and that's where my next location is for pretzel makers. So I took me a little trip over there, and let's see what I got. faithful the cinnamon on the top oh my god it was so good and get their raspberry lemonade i'm telling y'all that straw wasn't helping me at all i had to get to the end of that that was some good raspberry lemonade make sure y'all head over to your local pretzel maker and get you a free pretzel in honor of national pretzel day y'all know i love me a food holiday i love it if y'all watch R&B Divas, I was doing an R&B Divas interlude and I think I'm going to be doing it throughout this whole video when I'm going to something new. Down below in the comment section, I need you guys to let me know what are your top three favorite movies. It could be any type of movie. Why? Because I'm going to be going on some different trips soon and I have a layover in some of these places. So um, you need something to watch, something to keep your attention. I love road trips, but sometimes I'll be like, oh my God, there's only but so much sleep I can do. I love sarcastic comedies. I love dramas. I love action movies movies i don't do horror films you can keep that to yourself okay but just comment down below i love series because i'm on netflix so you know let me know help a sister out comment down below thank you okay i gotta tell y'all something so i was at the mall trying on some different stuff you know going to different stores and can you tell me why 
people who have the keys to the dressing rooms think that they are drill sergeant. You should be able to go to the register on the other side of the register, hit on a little cue button, and it calls for somebody to come over and let you into the dressing room. It should be that simple. You shouldn't have to be looking in the stars, walking around, finding an associate. Ain't nobody got time for all of that. And then when you find them, they're like, oh, you wanna try on some clothes? No, I wanna talk to you, sweetie. Yes, I wanna try on some clothes. What do you think I'm standing here with all of these hangers for, sweetie? I need a dressing room. I was in Forever 21, and for the and Forever 21's dressing rooms, they lock as well. But I'ma need you to keep your kids to yourself or with the people that are watching him because you had little Frankie looking under to see my hoo-ha and my tits were out on display. I said, um, excuse me, little Frankie. I'ma need you to put your head up under there where your mama is. And he just crawling. I said, you know what? I'ma need you to get your child. Get little Frankie. This isn't just for children either. This is for adults as well. People that just open, push the door. I'm in here. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't see the door close. You didn't see me moving my arms, flailing my arms to put my arm through this shirt. You didn't see me. I don't, I, you know what? I don't get it. I remember a home improvement where you could always see dude's head over the top. You can see me in the dressing room getting dressed. I'm in here. You can't, girl. <sighs> I gotta tell you something funny that happened the other day uh, while I was at the vet with Max. Um, so Max needed another vaccine. He needed his last vaccine of the season. Hallelujah. So I said, okay, let me go ahead and get this done. So the lady, what did he need? I can't even remember. But they had to get him in his thigh. I don't even hold his head while I'm here at home. Don't nobody want their head held? Get off of me. So I don't even do that to my dog. He just does what he likes to do. He knows to sit his tail down sometimes. He just does whatever he likes because I don't like to be confined. And my dog ain't going to be confined either. I'm just like, oh, Max, it's okay. You know, I'm rubbing his little head. And she was like, oh my God, because he bit her ass. And she said, oh my God, were you holding his head? She was looking at me. I said, no, no, I was not holding his head, sweetheart. You are the vet assistant. You the one that's supposed to be knowing what you're supposed to be doing when you giving these dog shots. Hell no, I wasn't holding his head. I was consoling him, okay? Get your life, sweetie. Looking at me like I did something wrong. I'm the one that's paying your ass. Get your ass out of here. She said, well, this time hold his head. I said, no, you need to get that or another assistant because I'm not doing that. Y'all normally are the ones that give him his shots. You normally take him in another room. So go ahead and get you somebody else to help you. <laughs> And little Max, oh my God, he was so pissed when he got home because I think she had stuck him twice. So he was pissed. He was like, oh shit, help me Lord. I said, Lord, my little baby, why y'all do him like that? I know she did it on purpose. I know it. I know, woo, girl, mm, I better not see you in the street. I'm putting the paws on you. Yeah. That's not um, <laughs> Michelle A. <laughs> it just makes me laugh how they just do that for no reason at all. And it's just like, they're not singing anything, really. They're just, Whoa! and you're like, Whoa! yes, I am still using my Christmas mug. My coffee knows no season, okay? Don't don't judge me. Don't you do it either. I know you got some Christmas mugs, some Christmas plates. You got some Easter. It is time for the Ask Miss P portion. Let me look back on these untitled fooleries and see if I have any questions. Kim Honey says, what about that Tiana Taylor album? It's so good, man. Have you heard it? Yes, I love Tiana Taylor. I enjoy her music and I have. I think I listened to her out. I think I did. I listened to her album and I really liked it. It was cute. Now I can't go run into it or nothing like that. It's one that you just put over there if you need some vibe and chill out type of music. Kendra Witherspoon says, I'm a lady truck driver. Do that, boo. She says, do you have any advice for dieting while traveling on the road? Also fitness advice that I can use. Sometimes it's hard cooking in the truck. I can totally understand pumpkin. What I would tell you to do is try to implement salads, uh, wraps, healthy snacks that you can be eating on. Eating healthy doesn't have to be boring. Cut out fried food, cut out them sodas, and if you can't really break away from juice, I mean, cut your juice in half. Like, have half of the concentrated juice, and then the other half have it as water, and you're kind of weaning yourself off of all of that sugar. As far as workouts, baby girl, I know you have to get your trunk clean, but you clean the bottom half. That's a workout in itself. Get you a kettlebell. Um, you could go running. There are plenty of things that you can do while you just chilling, waiting on your next stop. And girl, watch your lifestyle turn around.
Anna it online. I hope I'm saying your screen name correctly. I don't know. But her question the questions were number one, favorite foundation makeup brands. I love bare minerals. That's my favorite. That's the type of makeup that I wear and I absolutely love it. Number two, favorite places to shop for clothes. I love Express. I love BB. I love Forever 21. Um, I love these different brands that I have in my haul video. She inside. It's just whatever my eye sees that I want on my body. So I, I'm really not like, oh my god, if I see that, I'm not wearing it. I'm not going to that store. I don't wear anything from Walmart. Like, no, I'm not that type. Anything that I like, I'm going to get. Number three, great workouts for losing weight on arms and thighs. Baby, that kettlebell, honey. I'm telling y'all, get you a kettlebell. Lots of cardio. Push-ups are great as well. And planks are great for your arms and your back. So there's plenty of stuff that you can do. Naja Britt says, do you have any siblings? No, I am an only child. But you know the crazy thing? I never felt like an only child because I have such a big family. And I also have, you know, friends of mine who are like siblings to me. So I never felt, um, I never felt like an only child though which is crazy now I do have my moments of only only child syndrome where I'm like okay I'm, I'm good by myself I'm, I'm chilling I'm over here Michael Dillon says Miss P do you think you're going to move from North Carolina if so where would you go you know what I don't think I would ever move out of North Carolina I could totally think of a city that I would move to in North Carolina because I love my state I, I just love it um but if I had to move out of state um, I love Georgia. I can see myself moving there because it's similar to North Carolina with the city country life. Um, I love New York. Could I move there? Um, I'd probably have to move outside of New York. I couldn't be like right there in there but there are plenty of places that i've never been so i can't really say Louis montero says hey miss p what do you think of the upcoming britney spears and iggy azalea collabo uh you know what i don't know i haven't even heard it adika luby says hey miss p is it possible for you to do a review on the full lips lip plumper collection child my lips don't need no plumping mm -mm. one time i had a lipstick and it didn't say plumper i didn't pay it any attention and i was like why are my lips why is that tingling sensation happening and child my lips were looking like kylie jenner's is her name kylie kendall the one with the plumped up lips i said oh hell no my lips don't need no plumping boo keith Jones says miss p it is so hard for me to stick to a diet and exercise routine how do you do it and not give up having a healthy lifestyle is mental and it is totally up to you i did not lose weight for anybody but myself because if you're doing it for other people to look good to fit into a certain outfit you're gonna gain it right back because your intention are for the wrong reason and it's fun for me i had to make it fun in order for me to stick to it nessa meza says can you please shout me out because i'm doing singing videos on youtube check her out me and b says how do you maintain your blowouts how long do you go before getting another one um i maintain i just wrap my hair um, but I still do everything that I normally do, such as working out, my normal everyday routine. So that's how I maintain my blowouts. I don't use any more heat to it. If it starts frizzing up, it's a wrap. Normally, I try to put at least two to three months in between a blowout. That's just how I do because I don't want to damage my hair because that's a lot of heat. In in Wilson 2011 says, how do you feel about zodiac signs and horoscopes? I think zodiac signs and horoscopes are great, but I don't take them literally. Like, I'm a Libra and it's it's the truth when i look at their different traits i'm like wow but some of their traits i'm like i don't do that but i never think like oh my god a libra and a pisces or a libra and a sagittarius i can't be with you i don't mm -mm, i don't think of it that way my day is gonna be bad if i don't open my eyes it's like ain't nobody got time for that those are all the questions that i have if you have any questions make sure to comment down below they can be about me they can be about you if you need any advice relationship questions whatever you have make sure to comment down below i would love to answer your question thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it taking time out of your day to check out my video i really do appreciate it and i will see you on the next video peace love and all that good stuff god bless bye